Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. in the whole world for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the union of all let us pray to the Lord for this holy church and for all who enter it with faith reverence and fear of God let us pray to the Lord for our holy father Francis Papa Fran let us pray to the Lord Our most reverend Metropolitan will and for God loving bishops, for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the 
those who travel by sea, air and land, for the sake they suffer in the captain, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating Karma's holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. The Lord our God, mighty be in description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion us and on this holy church, your master, and show us in those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is due glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever.
wisdom be attentive. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Be attentive, peace be to all wisdom, be attentive.
wisdom. Let us be attentive. Please be to your reader. Wisdom be attentive. Then let us then listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At the time, now it happened that day after that Jesus went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him in a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Then fear came upon all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen up among us, and God has visited his people. Thank you. 
Glory to Jesus Christ. And Slava Isusu Christo. Very glad to see all of you this morning here at our church. Thank you so much that you came this morning for this divine liturgy. You know that I drive a lot, you know. And like last two weeks, I drove like around 1,000 miles. And usually when I drive, I listen, you know, to some radio. I listen to some audio books, you know. And thanks goodness, you know, today with all those devices, you know, you can, you have, you know, a choice what, what you can listen to, you know. And you can listen even, you know, to the radio from, from China or, you know, or, or like I do. I, very often I listen to the radio, Catholic radio station from the Ukraine. Very nice radio. And very often, you know, there are even my friends, you know, they give some retreats, some speech on that radio. I like that, you know. And just recently, a few days ago, I was listening to that radio, and a young man, he's probably like 33 years old, he was giving a witness about his life with God, how he came to God, how his life was changed. I'd like to share with you, you know, his story. He was talking about one hour, but like, <laughs> we'll try to do that, you know, in short way. And that guy, he was saying that since he was 15 years old, his life was kind of disaster. He was really bad guy, you know. He was stealing things from people like cars, money, like that stuff. He was using drugs. He was in prison two times. He was shooted. Somebody you know, caught him with a knife. When he came back home from the prison, his mother, he, she, she wasn't talking to him. When she was coming back home, you know, from somewhere, she was giving him food. She was telling him there is a bed and it's it. But he says, you know, she was praying for him. All the time she was praying for him. And one day his mother, she told him, please go to the church. Please go to the church. There was a church, Byzantine Catholic church, close to their house, maybe like 30, 40 minutes drive and one evening he decided to go there he entered to the church there was a vigil prayer he was staying in the back of the church of the church and he says believe me or not by last probably 25 years I never cried never even one time and he says, you know, when I was staying back there in the church, the tears just came out from his eyes. He says, you know, after the service, his t-shirt was wet because of the tears. At the end of that service, preach approached him, took him by head, by his arm. There was a cross also like we have here. That priest led him to the cross. And priest, he told him, no I, no somebody else, some priest or bishop or even pope will not save you. But he will save you. He will help you. He will change your life. He says, I was shocked. I was shocked of that started to come to the church and a few months after he quit he went back to his old style of the life he started to do one more time those bad things and he says one evening when they were ready to go with the company they were sitting in the car already they were ready to go to, to do something bad. He got a call from priest. 
And the priest asked him, how are you doing? What's going on, you know, and everything. That guy, he says, you know, one thing, you know, is that I never lie. Never. I always tell the truth. And he started to talk with that priest, you know, and he, he told him everything what is going on in his life one more time. And after that call, immediately, he says, immediately, something changed in his mind, in his heart. He went back to his company, to those guys who were waiting him in the car. A nice BMW, he says. He gave them the key from the car. And he told them, I'm done. Enough. started to pray, started to go to the church, and now a few years after, he's a missionary. He works with young people. He, he says, you know, he, said, he has like 100 young people with whom he is working today. He found a girl. He says, you know, every Sunday, every holiday, we go together to the church. We pray together. My mommy, she is probably the happiest woman in the world today. She's talk, she talks to me. We pray together. He says, yeah. Maybe I don't have a nice BMW today. I don't drive. I walk. I don't have a lot of money. Just enough, just enough. But my life is totally changed. I was dead, and now I am alive. Today's gospel, I would like to underline three, just three moments. The first of all, that city when happened this miracle. The city name. If we all translate that title of the city name into our language, it will be like delights. Something good, something delicious, delicious, no? something very nice, like comfort. And what is coming out from that city? Procession, funeral, there's death coming out from the delights. And what is going in that city? The life. One procession is the death. Another procession is the life. And there is a meeting with God out of that city. Here is an important moment. Every one of us, we probably have places like that, delights, no? Our comfort zone. Where we feel kind of protected. When we enjoy the life. If I want to meet Jesus Christ, if I want to meet that life, I have to step out of that comfort zone. I have to do some sacrifice. I have to be faithful to my cross. Just with that, with this service, with this sacrificing, I can meet Jesus Christ. I can have the meeting with the life. The second moment is that widow. The gospel doesn't say to us when she lost her husband. Maybe a week ago, maybe months ago, maybe years ago. But she is widow. To be a widow back in the time it probably meant, you know, to, to be lost in this world. They didn't have no pension, no socials, no food stamps, nothing. No help at all. And even more, she had one son. Her 
probably the last hope for some help. And she lost even that son. Can you imagine her situation? In what condition, in what situation was she? Really bad. Really. I, I, I think, you know, it's even, you know, against the nature to a funeral for your children. It has to be really, really, really bad. And she's staying there. And the gospel says, Jesus Christ, he moved with compassion to her. Very important moment. Doesn't matter what is going on in my life. In what condition, what situation I am now. Maybe I am lost one also in this world. Maybe I lost my last hope, less help. We have to remember that Jesus Christ is always with us. God, He is always with us. And He is merciful to those people. He is merciful. And His mercy is about everything. He is about one thing what we need to be with him to be with him and to answer on his love by our love by our prayers by our deeds to be with him and the last is that open coffin whereas that young man Jesus Christ just touch him. And life is back. Maybe I am one like that, dead. Every sin it kills me. Every sin kills in, in me that real image. Destroy my life. And here this morning, we can ask God, please enter into my life. Please touch my heart, my mind. Please heal me from that spiritual death. Please protect me from my sins. Please rescue me. You are Almighty. You are one who is able to change my life. You are one who is able to save me. You are Almighty. And you can give me. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. O Lord, Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, and for most Reverend Metropolitan William, for God loving bishops, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country.
Again, we pray, O Lord, our God, hear our supplication through your grace and mercy in your servants, all parishioners of this parish. Grant all their petitions and pardon all their voluntary and voluntary sins. Accept their supplications and charitable deeds before the throne of your majesty. Seeker them from every visible and invisible enemy, from every misfortune, distress, and affliction. Spare them from illness and grant them health and long life. Let us all say, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Father, you have asked us to pray for vocations that there might be young men and women willing to give of themselves for the sake of the gospel. Hear the prayers of your church and through the merits of your passion, death, send in abundance of good and holy priests, religious and other consecrated persons to serve faithfully the people of God. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for the people who are present who await you great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis Pope from our most reverend Metropolitan William, all entire priestly diacal monastic order, our government and all in the service of our country, our memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever.
Worthy, precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, hold on our holy and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Accept also the prayer of us sinners, bring us through your holy altar, enable us to offer your gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to fight favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest in us, and this gives her praise in all your people. Bring this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and like reading spirit, now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Let us stand the right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and Ephra in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you.
It is proper and just to sing to the blessed, to praise it, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged many eyes are aloft on their wings. Singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. For the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, the saving command has come to pass in our behalf. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. Sacrifice and we implore to entreat you, so that you the Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in this shell is the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit, that for those who partake of them they may bring us about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. First, O Lord, to remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our Most Reverend, Metropolitan, William, our God, loving bishops. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health for many years. 
as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. voice and one heart, we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them in his holy, heavenly, and mystical altars and aroma, spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Protect us, save us, immerse in us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us besiege the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guard, and of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. For a Christian painless and a shame peaceful end of our life and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Amen. is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. Thanks, invisible King, for by immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy, you brought all things out of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sell with, with those who sell, travel with those who travel, care those who are sick of physicians, souls, and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and light, creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Now 
let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Approach with fear of God and with faith.
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever and forever. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, like reading and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord we thank you, Master, Benefactor, for souls who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and every Virgin Mary of all your saints, may straight her path confirm us all in fear of you, guard life, and say, guard her steps. For your our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving can every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. And call the Lord be upon you for his grace and loving kindness, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, God, our hope. Glory to you. Third, through God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His most pure Mother, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our Holy Father, Jim Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of our blessed martyrs, Bishop Theodore, Bishop Paul, and Bishop Basil, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Thank you so much one more time to all of you that you came this morning to our church here for this divine liturgy. Just two things. The first of all, please remember that this coming week we do not have services on Tuesday evening and on Thursday evening. Why? Because all the priests of our archdiocese, we have a spiritual retreat, Helen, spiritual retreat. Okay, so, and... Because of that, we will not have the services on Tuesday evening and Thursday evening. And also, we begin like food basket or something like that. I don't know how to, like social help, you know, of people in need. Every one of us, we probably know that here in Britain, in downtown, we have a bread basket, a community, that organization, and they help to a lot of people, a lot of people. And... We kind of start, you know, to cooperate with them, to, to work with them together. And for the months of August, they ask us, our parish, they ask us to collect jelly. Okay? So it doesn't matter what flavor, it doesn't matter what type. Just if you can, if you want to help, please bring the jelly here to our church, actually to downstairs, you know. And... At the end of the month, we'll bring the jelly to the to that community bread basket. Wish to have you a nice and blessed Sunday and blessed week. And glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all people here present, to all our parishioners, to all our families, relatives, and friends, to all sick people of this parish, peace, health, and happiness for many happy and blessed years. Amen.